Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchyStamps.com. Today I'm going to share to how to make the, the winter fog card, that's what I call it. I was inspired by, a, I think her name is Linda Dalk. Not sure how to pronounce it, but that's what I think it was. So we're going to start with, and I'm using different stamps, and it, it was the fog that really intrigued me. We're going to start with a piece of Smoky Slate. This measure five by three and three quarter. For this one, I'm going to use the three in Evergreen Elegance. This one I had used the Cabin uh, Trees. It's just, it's three together. It was more tricky and uh, from the full one there that was a uh, perfect uh, perfect deer something something like that peaceful deer peaceful deer so let's get started we're going to start with everything it's stamped in a night of navy for the trees so i'm going to stamp my bigger three first so i'm going to stamp one here so these trees are bigger keep that in mind going to use that fat one to here and here. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to rip a piece of paper here, just plain paper. Oops. I just don't want too much. Uh, and then we're going to do ire up. So, you know, we get different variation. Now I'm going to use the smaller three. Maybe I could have hung my stamp first. See, now it looks like we get a bank of trees there, right? Gonna One right there. And I like to have variation in my trees. They're not all the same. One at the top. So you see now we get a bank there. We're going to come right here, have a few more. See, I just moved my paper. See, I get another one there. Now maybe I want right there. And then I need something here. That one, I'm going to use the tallest, the skinnier. I like the evergreen because I get more variation in my trees. And I'm going to put that just a little bit up, lower there. So you can have different. So this one go there. Now it go this way. Et voila. So I'm going to put another one in the corner there. Right here. Here we go. So now it looks more like a forest. And I can even go higher if I want. But I want to have like the sun in the winter when it tried to peak on the foggy i'm not sure if you guys saw a foggy winter day but it is gorgeous gorgeous or it's that mist that it's freezing i'm not sure so now everything else going to be using oops well this gets to burn there one minute there it's my stamp it's dirty one minute so when that happened, I'm going to use my uh, mist cleaner there. Sometimes you get like dust or you put it on your clothing and don't stick well. Here we go. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp my moon or sun right here. Okay, and remember it will dry much lighter. Now we don't dry or I don't dry my ink and some of it it's not all the way dry and that's what's going to give that very that fog and push the blue so I like to come from the bottom you know what let me use a, a scrappy paper because the white ink this is a pigment ink so it's very sticky it's what you can emboss with so you want it's going to take a little bit of time to dry so keep that in mind so i'm just going to push from the bottom here see the blue 
and then I'm going to go, so now I go in between. So some place I leave it more the way it is, and other place I'm going to do more. Whatever that you like. Now I'm going to push this here. Now we're going to keep on going. See, I tap on my scrap paper where I don't want it too much. See how, and it's going to dry lighter. Now I'm going to take more and I'm going to go just below here. Make a little bit more snow there. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if you want some of the tree to be more pronounced, you can stamp back on top of it. And this is not a photopolymer stamp, so it's a good chance you're going to be off, but that's okay because it's going to give a shadow. Let me uh, put a little bit more at the top here in my sky. Here we go. So my sun, it's you don't want the sun too bright because really it's on a foggy day. It's still... Et voila. Is that cool? And it's even cooler when it dry. Okay, where's my, uh, let me wash my hand here. I got my hinky rag with, I'm using just that stamping mist there. Here we go. So now, to do your uh, greeting, you need to let this dry completely. Because if you don't let it dry, you're going to have a mud pit. I'm still going to do it, and I'm going to stand back on top of it when it's dry. So I want to show you how I'm going to do the, the thing. I put a strip here. Yes, I dropped my uh, stamparatus when I was moving uh, my card base. So, my top. That's the reason why. I got just a window sheet here that I use all the time with my stamparatus. Going to put this here. The greeting that I'm using, it is the one and only, I'm going to say, the just because that I love, it's from um, after the storm. Now you're going to put this at the top. Remember, this is not dry, so, but you're going to have the jig. Now I'm going to place that here about where I want it. And before I stamp on my card, we're going to stamp on the window sheet. Then you're going to see if it's at the right position. If it's at the right position, then we can go to town with it. So now I'm just inking this. Make sure everything is pushed in the corner. That look very straight. Let me... Uh, yeah, that is straight. So if it would not be, I want maybe to just this up. Oh, I move it now. So let's try that again. Okay, now let's try that again because I want to show you if you didn't do it right, you're just going to wipe this. Then you're going to try again. So that way, sometimes you just off a little bit and enough to drive you crazy. Okay, this is very good. So the only thing that I do, I just use my inky rag. And I spritz some uh, stamping mist there and wipe that. And this lovely, you can see how yucky it is. I keep on using the same one. It's just a window sheet. Take a window sheet, cut it. Um, you can cut it six by six, really, or whatever you want, and then you can use it. I like to use the corner. And the reason why I like to use the corner, I'm not a fan of the, the magnet because... If I do multiple cards, then I have to remove the magnet and place it back. This way, I just put it in the corner. I'm all about, let's get it done sometime. So now I'm going to stamp. And then I'm going to have to stamp a few times. If you get a lot of white, it would make a mud pit if it's not dry. But right now, you're going to have a good jig out. See? Boom. Is that cool? I absolutely love this. I'm going to keep that on the Stamparatus so I can finish the card because I'm going to add more uh, just because I want that to be more pronounced. Now, I'm just going to mount that on top here. 
But before I mount it on top, I took the wink of Stella and I splatter it. So the only thing I did is make sure you get some wing of Stella in your barrel there. And you're going to take the cover that I like and I just... So you give that little sparkle of the winter frost in the air, right? So uh, this is not really a Christmas card for me. This is more uh, just because or it would be a lovely masculine card for birthday. Here we go. So this will be done. You're going to be able to see it finish. And I will have all measurement on my blog. Right below you get the direct link. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like what you see, give me that thumbs up. And for all your stamping up a product need, just visit my blog right below. I get direct link right there. You can shop 24-7. Have a lovely day, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping.